Good morning. Good morning. Welcome back to some more Magic the Gathering. Playing some more Popper today with a Gerblins list. We do be Gerblin today. Uh, so, I've played some 8 whack before. 8 uh, whack, 12 whack, Patty whack. You know what I mean? Give a dog its bone. But today we're playing Goblins in Popper. I came across this list. Uh, just browsing MTG Goldfish, and I only needed like two tickets to finish the li the list. So I was like, "Oh hell yeah, let's give this bad boy a shot." So here we are today. This is a very cheap deck. Um, hopefully it'll be pretty good. I've seen a couple different lists. I just went with the first one I found. Um, so I figured maybe we'll play with it and, and kind of see maybe what what seems better than others. But anyway, sixteen Mountain is all of our lands. So not a lot of land. We have Foundry Street Denison. I think we all know what he does at this point. Whenever another red creature enters the battlefield under your control, Foundry Street gets plus one, plus zero to end a turn. We have Goblin Arsonist. When Goblin Arsonist dies, you may have it deal one damage to any target. So typically turning our uh, Goblin Grenades into a one mana six burn spell. This is the card that I've seen the other list play four of, and I'm kind of like, yeah, this seems like probably a four of. Bushwhacker to kick everybody when Bushwhacker enters the battlefield. If it was kicked, creature control gain plus one plus zero until end of turn. My issue is so far, looking at this list, Foundry Street Denison is really good when you can trample over, and you're not really trampling that much in this deck. Goblin Cohort can't attack unless you cast a creature spell this turn. It's a 2-2 two, two for one. We have a bajillion creature spells, so hopefully it's just, uh, we can just go. You know what I mean? We can just go with it. Goblin Grenade is an additional cost to cast a spell. Sacrifice a Goblin. Deal 5 damage to any target. Goblin Sledder. Sacrifice a Goblin. Target creature gets plus 1, plus 1 until end of turn. So we could move power around a little bit with this card. Lightning Bolt. Mog Conscripts. Can attack unless you cast a creature spell this turn. So the same thing as Cohorts. 2-2 two, two for 1. Mog Rider. Same thing as Sledder. Sacrifice a goblin, target creature gets plus one, plus one, ten a turn. So again, could potentially pack wide, dump all of our power into one creature, maybe for the win. Skirt per, uh, Prospector, sacrifice goblin, add a red mana, so potentially somewhat of a ramp. Mog War Marshal, Echo, when it enters the battlefield or dies, create a 1-1 one, one goblin creature token. Burning Tree Emissary to kind of help dump our hand. The thing I don't like about Burning Tree so far in this deck is we're not going to ever use the green. We don't have any cards other than Hissing Iguana, which is a one of, to use that green with, or Mog War Marshal. So there's not a lot of hits. See, in 8-Wack, uh, you have have um, Reckless Bushwhacker. You have uh, Light of the Stage, potentially, Skewer the Critics. So yeah, you got a lot of other stuff. Here the critics is a common. Hmm. We got light up the stages. Um. Yeah, I don't know about burning tree emissary. We'll see. Hissing iguana, a, uh, iguanar. Whenever another creature dies, you may have hissing iguanar deal one damage to target player or planeswalker. So, you know, you can sack a lot of creatures in here. Fire Blast, you may sacrifice two mountains rather than display this mana's spell cost. Deals four damage to any target. So there's a lot of burn damage in this. Like a bunch. Uh, Sideboard-wise, we have Electricity. Deals one damage to target creature you don't control. And you have Overload. So I imagine this would be a good card to bring in against like Fairies. Gorilla Shaman, destroy tar artifact, target non-creature artifact with mana value X or less. So Infinity. Red, Pir Red Elemental Blast, counter target... Uh, blue spell, destroy target blue permanent. Flaring pain, damage can be pre prevented this turn. It has flashback. So, could use that against the, the decks that use that um that white card. Or fog. Uh, Flash of Defiance, green creatures and white creatures can't block this turn. So, probably Bogles. Uh, Smash Smithereens, pretty self-explanatory uh, affinity. And this this one I don't understand, Sparksmith. Sparksmith deals X damage to target creature and X damage to you, where X is the number of goblins on the battlefield. 
I don't know what we would bring this in for. I don't understand this card. Uh, maybe the Jun matchup, I guess. But yeah, I don't really understand this card. Cool artwork, though. I like the artwork a lot. So anyway, that is the Gerblins list. Let's go Gerbil some people. And uh, see how the list is. I'll probably be playing this Thursday as well for Popper. Get a few matches in with this. Maybe we'll uh, we'll see what cards feel good, what uh, what feels bad. Do some tweaking to it. Uh, like I said, there's there's other lists out there as well that I could could check out too. Um, while we're waiting, let me find it. Here's the list I found. Yeah, so this is the list I found. Just 5 0 not too long ago. Not a lot of people playing this. Um, so this one is playing a little bit different of a list. What's Death Spark? Deals one damage to target creature or player at the beginning of your upkeep. If Death Spark is in your graveyard, the creature card directly above it. You may pay one if you do return Death Spark to your hand. That's weird. That's a weird card. And then they're running Fork Bolt. Huh. They have an interesting list here. That was a little while ago, though. I think it was this one. Oh, yeah. This was another list I was looking at. The uh, Fanatical Firebrand. Goblin Arsonist. Like, those kind of seem good. I like the idea of the Fanatical Firebrand. A one-drop haster. Just start chipping in points. Uh, Crimson Fleet Commodore. That's another cart I think might be good in this deck. Because you can um don't cost cast a spell sacrifice a creature planeswalker to four damage to the target. Interesting. I kinda like this list better. You have fire blast in the sideboard, why do you have heat fire heart fire in the board? Well, we're a goblin deck, we would like to go first. Uh, <laughs> sure. We have a one drop. We have a fire blast. We have a bunch of war marshals. A bottom on the lands. I do kind of like this other list better, though. I was just looking at. At 5 0 just the other day, too. We'll take a look at it later. They mold the five. What's nice is we could sack the War Marshal. We can War Marshal, sack it, War Marshal, Rarian, sure. So if we did that, we would get. How many points of damage would we get in? There's a bushwhacker. No. There we go. Hit for two. Probably just gonna bushwhack her next turn. Go 
got a really aggressive board so far. Odd conscripts. Interesting. Two, four, six, eight. Do eight this turn, take him down to ten. I like this play. So we can Mog War Marshal next turn. Mardu? Is this the... I don't know if this is Mardu Wildfire or not, or just Mardu in general. Sure. For sure we have the win here. Oh, I, I screwed up. Misclicked. Still going to get there. Wow. That was, uh... That was kind of absurd. <laughs> Not gonna lie, that was kind of crazy. Let's bring in the uh, Smash the Smithereens and maybe the Gorilla Shamans. Destroy target, non-creature artifact, main value, X. So in theory, I can pop their lands with Gorilla Shaman, right? Now let me read how this, is it Sacrifice Goblin or Creature? What Goblin letter? Sacrifice a Goblin, okay. Okay, um, let's do, I don't know, I just like to smash the smithereens, um, go down, I don't know, we can use Burning Tree pretty effectively with that. Let's go down a... I don't know what to, what to change out of here. I really don't. Um, go down a cohort. Let's go down two cohorts and two conscripts. Do that. I don't know. I feel like the decks kind of lean out the gate. Kind of hard to decide what to what to take or what to keep for the sideboard. A lot of land. I'm gonna keep this in the hopes that we just draw a lot of action. Um, we do have Smash the Smithereen, so we have like Lightning Bolt. We just draw another land. not do this anymore we have five we have five of our 16 lands lone missionary eh sure yep 
get a bushwhacker. Um, you know, I'm fine with this trade. Landhawk. The bouncer land a hand. Replay the same land. We get cohort. We might have kept a flooded hand. Second freaking. I don't know if that's the right move. Getting in for a lot, though, here. I mean, you're gonna have the same problems with this deck as you are with burn, where life gains is gonna be really hard to deal with. There's a star. I think he's screwed on mana. I didn't figure he would attack. They're down to 10. I think that uh, Smash the Smithereens on that Ancient Den was pretty good for us. Ah, another freaking Lone Missionary. What a Bushwhacker be. Definitely not a bad one. Imagine they block the cohort here. Take three. Oh, they take four. Now oh, that iguana, or however you say it, doing some work here. I mean, we're still not in an amazing position here. We lightning bolt them for this. More than lightning. Down to six. Draw land. This is how our opponent gets back. 
Yeah. Yep. Really need to. Not something good. I think our opponent's going to win this one. I think we got too flooded here. I think we got too flooded. I'm actually going to bring in those Sparksmiths. They might be able to start clearing away their little blockers. That game one was absurd, though. What was that, like a turn three or four kill? And Popper? <laughs> We're pretty fizzled, though. Like, we, we just... We drew a lot of action for a good bit of the row, and we got to kind of screw them up by blowing up that Ancient Den, but them having uh, some life gain mixed with us drawing more lands not uh, has not went well in our favor. <clears throat> We've got them down to six, though. So we are only like a couple burn spells away from killing them, but they do have Seeker of the Way, which could gain a bunch of life link, fortunately. But we'll see how this goes. Oh, it must be in the tank. Oh, they've disconnected. Oh. They're having a good game here. I'll wait to see if they reconnect. While we wait. Yeah, Firebrand seems good. Having a haster that uh, can ping. Arsonist already seems pretty good. Um, wow, that doesn't seem too bad at all. Orcish Hellraiser. Be another target to hit with Burning Tree Emissary. Yeah, I might have to try this list out. I kind of like what's going on with this list. Orcish Hellraiser being pretty cool. They're not playing the like conscripts and stuff, are they? I think an effect like Monarch you really want, though. Like the Conscripts and the other one, um, the other 2-2 two -two cohort, they're like, they're not bad, but like, they force you to be constantly aggressive, which may not pay out. I like the idea of playing something that's a little bit more uh something that's a little bit more uh utilized, I guess. I don't know. How many creatures are we playing? They're playing thirty. Thirty four. Uh, see if our opponent's back yet or not. Yeah, there's some there's some cool stuff over here. This might seem like a more interesting list. Okay, our opponent's back. Yeah, Seeker of the Way gains life link. We're going to gain three, go up to nine.
All right, let's just go to game three. Let's not. Let's. I don't know. I don't know. All right, now let's go to game three. Uh, I am going to bring in these Sparksmiths. Maybe Gorilla Shaman is just worth it. Go target non-creature artifact with value X or less. That should pop lands, right? Artifact lands. I'm not gonna do very good though, against stuff. I'm gonna bring them in. Go down these cohorts. Conscripts. Don't know if this is the right the right move here, but we're gonna try it. Deep. Hell yes. Feels like a really strong hand. Mog War Marshal off the top would be awesome. Oh, we're going to blow that land up. Hey, now that's an uncommon. Gal blasted the gorilla, but we took their land from them. <laughs> um, if we draw a land next turn, I'd actually be really happy. We could Founder Shoot Denison and Sparksmith. But I'm also fine. I'm really fine with this play here. Go fetching. Get a mountain or ah, give me back my gorilla shaman. The gorilla shaman, good makeshift ammunition, sure. I think we have exactly game here. Yeah, I remember how to click through stuff. Damn. 
Wow. That was... That was blistering. Wowee. That was a... That was... That felt... Insane. Now, obviously, it's not going to happen every time, I don't think, but... Woo! Felt good. Um... Gonna keep this. Uh, we're not on the play, which sucks. I'm just debating whether or not if Cohort or Street Denison is worth. You know what I mean? Like, which one do we lead on here? Draw Mountain. Cohort can swing for two next turn. Foundry Street can swing for three. So probably Foundry Street. Be my guess. Because we can Foundry Street next turn. Burning Tree Cohort. Yeah, we're fighting a wildfire deck here. So we we have to be quick. So that's what we could do is burning tree cohort here. I have goblin grenade. I mean, we're gonna lose a mana, but we get to at least double spell here. Yeah, I know. We lose mana. Fine. We can do 9 damage next turn with just cards in hand. I mean, just burn spells. Feels pretty good. They don't have a turn 3 play. Feels pretty good. You get a bushwhacker. We have so much freaking mana here. They probably have a response to this. They have like a Gout Blast or Lightning Bolt probably. Yep. Yep, Gout Blast the Foundry Street, sure. Still a lot of damage coming in. They have double. They got for two. A braid. Sure. They're not quite dead here. Down to ten. So I'm gonna I'm gonna let him tap here. Sure. Elementalist grabbing. Probably like Gal Blast. Yep. Gal Blast, probably the Skirt Protector. Now the Burning Tree. Okay. We only need one point of damage to come through anyway. No blocks. Sure.
This has felt kind of absurd so far. I'm not going to lie. Like, this has been, like, surprisingly strong. The Gorilla Shaman. This Mardu deck. <sighs> like, can we play something else? Like, do I bring in the same stuff we did last time? Just these seven? We don't have a way to deal with Graveyard, which is annoying. I don't think we saw very many artifact lands. I'm going to... We're going to sidestep Gorilla Shaman for right now. And they also might not have a lot of Master Smithereens here either. I think we want Sparksmith. I'm starting to see why Sparksmith is in the deck. Go down a Cohort. Go down a Conscript. Smash the Smithereens or Gorilla Shaman is the next question. Like, do we want these guys? I mean, I know they have artifacts. But do they only have indestructible artifacts? That is the question. We don't have a way to deal with Graveyard, which they're going to be graveyard centric with Arcanist. I'm just going to try it like this. Let's just try it like this. See what happens. Uh, I'm going to keep. Mog Rider into Burning Tree into Mog War Marshal. Potentially do... However much damage. <laughs> Mog Rider's a weird way to, like, potentially block, like, Gal Blast and Lightning Bolt and stuff. They went to four cards. Oh, hopefully it's a good four. I'll say, you can get out of, uh... A mulligan with a cleansing wildfire deck. I feel like fairly easily. We get a third land. We can go War Marshal and Goblin Slider all in one turn. I should play Goblin Slider. I like the artwork in Goblin Slider more. <laughs> Third War Marshal. I mean, that was the play I was going to do anyway. Because we have so many War Marshals in hand anyway. So I'm fine with that. Like I said, if we can draw a land and go War Marshal and Sledder next turn, I'll be very happy with our life. Get to gain some life here. Now I really want to land so I can War Marshal and Lightning Bolt that. I'm all to four. So they kept a good four. Gotta say. Land. 
Parksmith. Interesting. Hmm. We're playing both that. We hit him for four. Then we play Goblin Sledder. Or... We attack him, hit him for three, play Sparksmith. Blow it up. They could have Ephemerate as their last card. I'm going to attack with all. Fine with this. Get three in. I said though, we're not in a great position here. Depending on what they got. They got a wildfire. That sucks. So they're they're getting back their lands here. Can't imagine. Oh no. Son of a bitch, I did that wrong. Damn. Oh, that was a misplay on my part. Well, the good news is that we trade, you know what I mean? I just let it go through. That was a... I thought I was thinking Burning Tree was a goblin there for a second. I was like, that that was a misplay. That was a massive misplay. Would still like to have a land next turn so we could Lightning Bolt and War Marshal. Ooh, that's rough. Son of a bitch. Oh, no. Um, so I can only save one of them. Oh, that misplay really burn us there. That really hurt. I mean, if their last card's Infimerate, I'm like, they have it, you know what I mean? We got punished there. Faithless looting. Lone missionary. Yep.
I do have the prismatic strains, which is worth noting. Bring in flaring pain. Oh yeah, this works for me. I only tap and untap white creature you control. I thought it was two. Two. That's what I thought. I thought it would still possibly kill our goblin slitter. I get a land. That's good for us. Oh, they... Are they just trying to filter more prismatic strands? Is that what they're trying to do? Did not get one. <sighs> this game's stressful. I really think this game would have been over if we didn't screw up that Sparksmith attack. That Sparksmith uh, move. I really do. We probably blocked the Foundry Street here. Yeah. To get an extra point of damage. Then he yield. I thought he. Faithless looting. You get to keep one card this time. Ah, uh, and they got another freaking lone missionary. But get out of here with this card. Too good for Popper. That was good. Very good draw. Oh, I thought we could do a creature. Dang it. My bad. That was a misplay on my end. Couple misplays here. That was a big punt. I thought we could use it to blow up the Loon Missionary. Allow it to come through. Good. Here's the thing. We can put that on Hissing Quagmire. The Hissing Iguanor. The lamb was not what we wanted to see. Um, I 
There's an argument for sacking something to... But I, I feel like it was just better to make sure that creature died. We have him, like, goblin grenade range. Which we've not drawn one of them yet. Like, fiery cannonade. All the cleansing wildfires. Well, they can't... Can't do that anymore. We get it. Wow. So we didn't get punished for our terrible punts, but we did, did get there. Oh, okay. They're asking for tier one, please. Well, you're not tier one. We're bottom of the page, but <laughs> it's, it's felt good so far. We could play this Mardu matchup. Ugh. Our opponent gained what, like eight life that last game? No, 10. They gained 10 life. Yeah, I'm a little bit curious about this list. Um, I don't have the Crimson Fleet Commodores. So I'd have to buy them, but... I would like to go first. Thanks for asking. Oh, this hand. We're on the play. I'm going to keep it. Probably not the best choice, but... When we draw a land, we're going to have a crazy turn two. So, we have some decent turn one stuff anyway. Red. Red v. Red. Bushwhacker. I have a feeling Foundry Street's dead here. Maybe not. If we draw a land the next two turns, we can probably just close the game out. Red, green. Red, green, something. Oh! So, kind of mirror. They're a burning tree deck, too. Savage swipe. Sure, that's annoying. And the lightning bolt. Jeezy, Pete's. Land. We don't draw a land here in the next like turn or two. That's probably game. Yep. Come on, Lee. Uh. I meant to play conscripts. I mean, we're 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 done here with this game, right? I guess wild mongrel blocks really well here. Wow. All right, we're done here. There's, there's no way we're coming back from that. Spark Smith, Flash of Defiance, Electricery doesn't do anything. So I think those are the only cards we want to bring in. Uh, our opponent seems really well suited for what we're doing. Um. <laughs> I, I think we're going to have a hard time with this matchup, personally. I really do. 
Uh, what do we want to go down? I don't know. Try like that. See what that does. I would like to go first. Thank you for asking. Oh my goodness. Alright. Uh, you're going to be too slow. I want to keep, I want to keep the rest of the sand. Probably the prospector. Yeah, our opponent uh, had a pretty good, pretty good draw. Wild Nakatl. Ew. <laughs> I highly doubt he blocks Boundary Street here. I didn't know Wild and Coddle's a common. It's a really strong common card. Definitely feels like it'd be weaker in Popper than it is in Modern. I am fine with this trade. Must not have a play here. Well, we're going to whack this next turn. We're going to hold off the whack this next turn. We're going to hit him for three here. So, I mean, we're not paying the echo cost anyway, so we might as well just get the extra point of damage in. Get kicked. Our opponent has seven cards in hand. Like, how do they not have something here? You know what I mean? Lightning bolt. I mean, they get to save themselves from a point of damage. Come on. They get to save themselves from two points of damage. Well, we, we got to eat two of their lightning bolts, which felt pretty good. Get him down to 10. Faithless looting. Card too powerful modern. Completely legal and popper. Although I think there was a reason. There was like a certain deck. That... Wow. Pretty good. I think there was a certain deck that caused, uh, caused the issue with faithless looting. Not necessarily faithless looting. I get a 4-4 warming boy. 
would love a goblin grenade here. Log conscripts. Not great. I am going to attack here. Because we're trying to etch him, like, etch him down into fire blast range. So, like, I'm fine with this. But I have a feeling we're going to lose this one. I feel like we're not suited very well against creature decks. Kind of... Savage swipe. We kind of want to... Uh... Our opponent's deck seems really cool, though. We kind of want to do that. Uh... They just have another savage swipe anyway. Rough. Plays Neonate. Neonate's going to block really well. Uh, We basically need Goblin Grenade here. They did not attack anyone. Good conscript. Um, I feel like we were wanting to play the slower matchups, not the ones that have a bunch of these really effective blockers. That was one thing I was kind of worried about going into this without a card like, um, without a card like. Legion Loyalist. I was like, I don't know how good this deck's going to be. Legion Loyalist is what ties together 8 whack and gives it its power. Plus all the whacker effects. This, I'm kind of like, hmm. You know what I mean? I'm kind of like, let's see how this is. Um... Four Marshal. Again, not seeing any of our goblin grenades. Best card in the deck, too. Our opponent is in top deck mode. I mean, we essentially are, too. Looking for stuff he can madness in. Found nothing. I mean, our opponent's not in a great position here, but they're not in a bad position either. I'm going to let War Marshal die, too. We need our mana open. That might be it. Oh, because I didn't cast a creature this turn. Oh. Whatever. You're kidding me. You're not blocking with the neonate? Wow. You're going to get punished here. Holy smokes. Awesome. Nice. <laughs> All right. We brought in the... Yeah, we brought in... I think we brought in everything we can bring in against this deck, pretty much. I don't think we have a whole lot of good... What is flaring defense? It's red and white, right? Green and white. Flash of Defiance. I mean, we saw some green creatures. I'm going to leave it in. Wow. Really should block that near Nate. I know why he didn't. He wanted to cheat stuff in. <laughs> this is one of those hands. Leads on neonate. Flint Slitter.
It's him a freebie and draws a card. Our opponent has the nuts here. Hey, well, I guess I wasn't kidding. Holy smokes. All right, we got our own Burning Tree Emissary. Who's not going to do us a whole lot of good here. Play the other Foundry Street. Always yield. Probably going to throw down Cohort. More than likely, they're going to block with, like, Rudawalla or something. That's our problem, is, is, like, they have too good of blockers for what we're doing. I guess, I guess now that we've seen it, we should have brought in Electricity. Electricery, I mean, maybe. We've seen a lot more 1-1s this game. Too late. Next turn, we're going to go Burning Tree into Sledding. The Sledder. I do love the artwork on Goblin Sledder. And they have the freaking Savage Swipe. That card's really obnoxious. We're running out of gas here pretty quickly. Although that is pretty good gas. So, we could Burning Tree into Bushwhacker. Burning tree in this turn, it's, it's rather than off we burning tree. I don't think we bushwhacker this turn. I think we play goblin sledder instead. I don't know if they'll attack here or not. Nope. Load up the dorks. Um, I don't know. Oh, God. Oh, well, that probably won in the game. They go up to 30. Yeah, there's like no way we win now. <laughs> Jeez, he beats. That was a huge weather the storm. They just let it go through. Of course, why wouldn't they? Wow. We did 13 damage, though. Been hell of a hit. Weather, weather the storm, man. What are you going to do? I'm gonna pump the Rudawalla. Come and attack. Sure. This is what it is. I have a backup Brutawalla. Something good here. Uh, I am going to pay its echo cost. Oh, I should have cast Burning Tree to attack with Cohort. Dang it. 
Oh well. Live and learn. Take two. Uh, I'm just going to play it for no value. No, I really should have played it beforehand, so I got to attack with Cohort. That was a punt on my end. I don't know what I was thinking. Freaking Savage Swipe. The card's so annoying. It's good, though. It's really good. Uh, they could trade. Yep. They don't want to trade creatures there. Or I say something good. That was not something good. I mean, they'd only be at 12 here. They probably just block the War Marshal. We're both in top deck mode. Might be wanting to trade, say, Burning Tree for Cohort. So Cohort's showing. It's not that great right now. Big Hat Token. High Lord Bolerner. I remember your name, but I don't remember how to say that last part. What's up? How's your day going? We're getting uh, pelted here. Lightning Bolt is interesting. We could kill the Rudawalla. Good, it worked till Wednesday, 9 p.m. Farting around. I don't blame you. I wish we could fire this cohort off. Debating whether or not this uh, Rudawalla deserves my Lightning Bolt or not. Saved our cohort for a turn. We cleaned off their board. Kind of bummed I wanted to get the frog and a lot of these new slugs and oozes that are coming out. If I can make a theme EDH deck. Why why can't you get them? That was an amazing draw. Opponent's down to three and they're in top deck mode. Did we get through a Wither the Storm times four here? Did we grind them out? We had we had a lot of punts. Too. Can't say we've won for sure. Well, that pretty much summed it up, didn't it? They got something here. Oh, I guess they have fiery cannonade. We're okay. Ooh. I guess we're still good from Fiery Cannonade, ain't we? GG, opponent. Hey, Cooper, thanks for the raid. Did the raid thing still not go? I didn't hear it go off. Gobbos, yes. Hey, thanks for the follow. Arco Verde, maybe? So the follows work. Dude, I... I don't understand this raid thing. Thank you for the raid, though. I don't understand this raid thing because I have uh, went through. I re I deleted all the elements, re -ele like put in new elements. I deleted all the links and stuff on OBS, relinked everything, and then the raid thing still doesn't work. But if I go to test raid, it works. Hey, thanks for the follow. Delar Cubs. I'll just call you Cubs. Adela Cubs. 
I might have said that right. Thanks for the follows. Yeah, so that's what the raid's supposed to look like. Just raid alert being a brat. No kidding. I wish I could get it to work. I'm going to keep this hand. I wish that I could get it to work for when you do raid. You know what I mean? It'd be really nice. But thanks for the raid. How did you end up in your league? You were uh, in game two when uh, I started streaming. That game one against Satan Raken was just absurd. <laughs> it was crazy. Another greenish deck. Elves, maybe? Yep. All right, so... 4-1 and 2-3. Okay, so you did a double, double league. I take it you were on the second league. Uh... When I started watching, the match was okay. It's my turn. The match with uh, versus Sa Satan was great. Always happy to play them. I've got to play them once, and uh, ooh, I'm gonna burning tree here and mod conscripts instead of going double mod conscripts in case we don't draw land. I can still bushwhacker next turn pretty effectively. But yeah, I played against Satan Raken once, and uh, I was lucky enough to get get the win against him. But uh, pretty great player. I see you play them a lot. And I say even when I played against him, that's why I said I was like, I see you play Cooper the Red a lot, and he uh, or she, they kind of joked and was like, Yeah, it seems like we're on a lot at the same time. <laughs> I've only seen them play that familiar deck, though. I've never seen them play anything else. Do they block or do they not a block? I mean, they just get to dump their hand next turn, probably, right? They are going to block. If we draw a land, we can dump Mod Conscripts, Bushwhacker. I don't think we can 20 them, but <laughs> it'd be a lot. Come on, land. Land. Ooh, Goblin Grenade's pretty good, though. So we can... Just trying to think here. If we Bushwhack, they block one. They take five, ten. Not quite. Um... Oh yeah, I need to change the follower goal. That'll be 97, but two of them came through. But I'm going to put it at 97 until it tells me over here otherwise. Because who knows, someone may have unfollowed at some point. Um, If I mug conscripts this turn, I could set up for a big bushwhacker turn next turn. But they could dump a bunch of stuff. Maybe bushwhacker is just a play here. Maybe not. Maybe maybe it is mod conscripts here. I want to play the conscripts. I mean, they could take four if they want to. Um, tap it on tap creature control. Add one dollar. Say because that's not a big ramp guy. This was not the other one. Not this one. You on Ranger return a force you control. Okay. So they could they they can get to dump a lot of stuff here. Uh they tap this for one, bounce this to and tap this to three. They have access to three mana here. Uh electricery feels good in this matchup against them. I gotta know, is Overload one-sided? Let 
I'm just going to yield through this turn. Uh, Overlord pro uh, provides an alternative, usually more aggressive mana cost, expensive mana cost, for a card which can be used casting it. And upon doing it, it increases the whole value of the card. Replaces the word target with each. So, would electricity, would electricery hit us? You don't control, so no, it wouldn't. That answered my question right there. All right. Um, so we bushwhack. I, 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 we're, we're bushwhacking this turn. There's no way we're not. This deck has seemed awesome. Cooper, if you're looking for a uh, fun, cheapo deck to play, this, deck, this deck's felt good. Again, we're not in a league. Um, but we grinded out last game. We, we, we took out through a wither, uh, times four wither, uh, weather, the storm game one. We beat, uh, a lot of life gain in a Mardu deck. So it's felt good. This has felt like a good, a good deck. Um, we have the win next turn if they don't have the win here. I've been thinking of returning to Papa Gabos with Reckless Impulse. Reckless Impulse, exile the top two cards of your library until in a turn you may play one of those cards. Yeah, that seems... Oh, okay. No, I've seen this card. Yeah, it's kind of like a good light up the stage. Which, so far, this is like a... Uh... A deck that I felt like once you empty your hand, you probably lose. So I saw one that was playing Shrek that seemed interesting in and in an 18 land version, not a 16 land version. Speaking of which, I forgot to stream decker this. Oops. Bird of Paradise. Thanks, Bert. Thank you for the follow. Okay, now it says 98, so it makes me think either it's one behind on the followers or the one on unfollowed at some point. Fine. In leagues or challenges, everything that ain't affinity is bad deck now. I've had pretty good success with Jun Wildfire, personally. All right, yeah, Stream Decker's up and working now. I don't know, though. This deck has felt good. Like, it's felt strong. I gotta say that this deck has felt really good. I've been enjoying it, and I I only paid like two tickets for it, where I've had most of it already. Um, what does Stream Decker say the price is on this deck? Eleven eleven point three two ticks what the card hoarder price is. It's felt very good. And we'll see how it does in the in the post board with possibly weather the storm. And I will say this why I got some uh, people watching. I'm trying to hit a follower goal of 100 and we're only two away. We are only two away. Um, I'm just going to go for it. Hey, Turbo Fog. Thanks, uh, thanks for the follow. I appreciate it. 
thought you were following before. I'm pretty sure I've seen your name. Maybe I've just seen your name a lot over in Cooper's. Uh, Electricery. Yes, please. Flash of Defiance could be good. Uh, and then the only other thing is whether or not we want Sparksmith. I don't think we do. Ah, oh, The Elf Player Rage Quido. I don't, know, I don't know if they rage quit. <laughs> Goblins beat elves. Hopper. Not normally a modern. Hey, Crambo Gaming. Thank you for the follow. Do we hit our 100? It's not saying over here. I'll give it a second. Hey, there it goes. We hit our 100. Thanks, y'all. I really appreciate it. have to make a... Uh, Hey, thanks for the follow. TMO6 life. Oh, what which one is TMO6? Which one's TMO6? Toxic, toxic life. That's a clever name. I like that. Yeah, that's why I just googled it real quick. I was like, "Oh, I know that's something." I want the new Pokémon really bad. What should be the new follower goal? Be 150 maybe? Yeah, let's do 150. Thank you all for the follows though. I really appreciate it. I uh I'm moving to do magic now Monday through Fridays. Um magic's my favorite game and that's what uh, most of you've come from thanks to Cooper's amazing raids. And uh Kind of be following somewhat of his schedule, which is modern Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and then Popper Tuesday, Thursday. Although, with how much I like Popper, that could always swap around. I'm going to keep this hand. I don't know if I should. It's aggressive. If we draw another land, we're probably pretty set. Oh, I forgot we're not playing elves anymore. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Um, I want the new Pokemon though. But what I was saying is, I was planning on doing that. Then on Saturday and Sundays, I'm actually going to start streaming. I'm going to do just random games. Like I think I'm going to start Super Mar. I'm thinking I'm going to start Mario uh, Golf Super Rush this Saturday. Um, ooh, Foundry Street. Go Foundry Street. Drop down another conscripts. We're going to hit for a lot of damage next turn, hopefully. Um, but yeah, so that's, that's what my goal is. Uh, magic's my favorite game anyway. So if I'm just streaming it more often, I'm fine with that. Help, uh, kind of kick the rust out of the joints on it. Whenever you cast an on-creature spell, deals one. Okay. Maybe this isn't the affinity list I was expecting. Lotus Petal. Huh. I haven't seen. I've never. I've, this is the first time I've ever seen a popper deck play Lotus Petal, which I know it's in the format. Just don't see it very much. Some kind of storm deck. We top deck a land. I'm just gonna bolt this thing, and then we attack for a bunch. But no, I really want the new Pokemon. I want Pearl. I didn't get to play that generation. I stopped playing as a kid as, at Ruby, and then got back into it with Heart Gold. So that was literally the generation I skipped. So I'm really looking forward to grabbing Pearl at some point. I'm going to... Well then. I'm going to stream it too whenever I get it and play it. I just don't know when I'm going to get it yet. Well, that was kind of a crazy draw, wasn't it? Unfortunately, Foundry Street is going to be dead here if they want to block. They block there. Interesting. Because next turn we can just play Goblin Sledder, which is the best artwork of any Goblin card on the face of the planet. And then Lightning Bolt. 
Enters the battlefield, you may search for your library for an artifact card with mana value one or less, reveal it and put it into your hand. Sure. I like the artwork on this guy a lot too, this trinket mage. But I do really appreciate you um helping me hit the goal of a hundred followers. That really means a lot to me. I've been working kind of hard of uh Oh, spell bomb. Working kind of hard of uh to, to build the stream more often be more consistent so i really appreciate it and if it wasn't for cooper's many raids probably probably wouldn't have happened so thank you cooper a million for still watching but on top of that I do think Reckless, uh, what was that card called again? Reckless Impulse? Yeah, Reckless Impulse would probably be really good in this deck. Um, I clicked wrong. Oh, no. Misclick. Oh, misclick. Just one. Bad face. Oh, that was a punt. Oh, uh, because they, because so you, you click the target you want to put the counter on first and then sack it. And I, I think I just messed up where I was going. Yep. Oh, what a punt. What a punt that was. Getting back spell bomb. Plays said spell bomb. We still have the win here. Luckily, we had the win last turn, but we really punted there. All right, they see it. Woo! All right, Smash Smithereens comes in. Gorilla Shaman. There's an argument for Spark of Defiance. I mean, Sparksmith. Let's go down some cohorts. Go down some conscripts. Maybe we bring in Sparksmith, maybe not. What do we take out for him? Prospector, maybe? Uh, let's take down the Inguanar. Go down one Prospector. Just try it like this. I don't know if this is right or not. But we're gonna try it. Uh, decent hand. I'm gonna keep it. But yeah, thank you guys for helping me, uh, hit my... My second goal, my milestone. Which was, the first one was to get uh affiliate and then now the hundred followers so I really appreciate it. If you want to watch any of this stuff on YouTube, there is links to said YouTube page uh on my Twitch account. I have a channel where I upload all the streams to and other games and oh and I have uh a channel where I talk mainly about like movies and stuff. So we 
dump these guys. We can dump all three of these and Bushwhacker next turn. So I don't know if there's a, a good reason for that. We draw a land, we can dump Arsonist and Bushwhacker. They get to block one of them. Or they don't. Okay, cool. The problem is, is getting in with Foundry Street Denison against a Flame Breaker. Like, if we had, like, a Flame, flame Breaker was dead, the double sacking, the, you know, just playing the Prospectors to sack them would be really beneficial for us. Gas with kicker. Get in wide. Um, target creature. Let's throw it on. Do that. They might have a removal spell here. No, they go to five. Dang. Oh, oh no. All right. Play the spell bomb, sure. So I think I want to arsonist the shaman here. Now the shaman kills itself, right? Okay, one, two. I mean, we're going to lose it anyway, so let's just. Might as well. Make him use up everything. Fine with that. Wow, no Goblin Slider gets to live. Sweet. <laughs> I don't know what good it's going to do for me, but cool. Bring back Pyrite Spellbomb, probably. Yep. Um, I mean, we have Goblin Grenades. We have Fire Blasts. We have a lot of stuff to get underneath this. Wall of Blockers. That one's not bad, though. I'm going to go ahead and attack here. 
Maybe that wasn't the right play. Okay, no. Cancel. Yeah, this deck feels really good. It feels really strong. They can play the spell bomb here. We have a we have a, literally a, a million cards to uh dig like to to kill kill them. We just got to draw one. <laughs> They do have the spell bomb. They target Goblin Slider here. I'm just gonna let it go. Gal Blast. All right, got it. They can't spell bomb this turn. How to do it? GG. Got through the poor misclicks and everything. Dang. This goblin deck's absurd. <laughs> like I said, we're not in tournament... I mean, we're in tournament practice, but this goblin deck feels real good. It feels real good. I wish more people stream Popper. I wish it was a more popular format. Seems like mo modern by far and is the most popular from looking at it over here. Because uh, when we get done with our last and final match, I will raid. I always try to raid if I have five or more uh, viewers on board. Yeah, this deck seems sweet. I like this deck a lot. Um, we'll join uh, Mr. Ulamog over here. They're not on the play, boo. So our chagrin, we tried. This is a interesting hand. A lot of damage in hand. Gonna keep it. The Goblin Cohort looks like Kiki Jiki. They went to five. And I think they're still debating a five. They kept a five. Cross Force Bridge. Hard to tell what this is. Fire Blast was a really good draw. So I think we just Goblin Bushwhacker the next couple turns. Jund, possibly. Probably gonna kill Cohort. Yep. Boo. Just want to attack for three. That's so hard to ask. Oh, we're just gonna kick him. So two, four, eight, eleven, sixteen. We have sixteen points of damage in hand. Pretty good. I would really like a, a goblin here off the top. It'd be really nice. Like that guy. More people should play this deck. 
Just saying. Wow. The amount of aggression that's in this deck is absurd. This easily has to be one of the most aggressive decks in the format, right? I'm not saying this is the best deck on the format, but like... Playing the popper I played, this deck is incredibly aggressive. I love it. Um... I think we have the win here. Yep. Wow. Mm. Yowzas. That was something else. Um... Uh, Smash Smithereen, maybe? We didn't see really any lands that are not indestructible. We did see stuff like Icker Wellspring and stuff. Uh, Red Elm, I mean, Sparksmith may be good. Flash of Defiance may be good. Hissing's probably not that good here. Uh, let's go down a Cohort. On scripts, cohort. Uh, I don't know about Sparksmith. I'm gonna bring him in just in case. I don't think I'm gonna bring in Flash of Defiance. I'm, I don't know, I might. Green creatures, white creatures can't block this turn. Boundary Street's probably not going to be that great in this matchup. Go down one of him. Um, go down another Conscripts. You know, I'm going to keep in the other Conscripts. I'm just going to go down one Raider. I don't know if that's right. I'm going to try it, though. I don't know how right that is. We might not want Flash of Defiance. We might not want Sparksmith. We can assess next. Game three, if we go to game three. Our sideboard plan there. Um... It's not amazing. I mean, there's 16 points of damage in hand, but only one creature. I'm gonna keep it. We're on the we're on the draw. We have all the land in the world. Get a bushwhacker. I'm just like, do we bushwhack this turn or do we try to wait and hold bushwhacker for next turn? Because they probably have a gal blast in hand. Um, do it. Be aggressive here. Play with chaos. Who knows? They might not have it. That every hopeful in the face of the planet. They didn't. Wow. Okay. That was surprising. So does Smash the Smithereen still work? Cast down. I, mean, I guess there's going to be one way to find out. But yeah, does Smash the Smithereen still work on an indestructible land?
They can sack in response. Going to. Yep. Yeah, I guess that's the question is like, does Smash Smither. I mean, I guess if. I think it would work. I think it's going to work. I'm going to try it here. I don't think Smash Smithereens is going to be that good otherwise, because they can just sack all their stuff in response. It does. Oh boy. We have lethal in hand here. Wow. I went completely under... Yeah, Smash will do damage. Yep, I figured it out. <laughs> wow. I've been undefeated so far, and we've played, like, tier decks for the most part. For the most part. We won against Mardu, a Mardu deck. We won against a Mardu Wildfire deck. We won against Elves. We won against... uh, Well, Elves backed away. We won against... uh. Wild, I'm not sure entirely sure that was Wildfire, but some kind of... Was that mostly Rakdos we just played? We didn't really get to see a whole lot. <laughs> this deck feels really good. Um, I might have to run this through League at some point. The deck felt really good. I don't... I was, like, looking at different lists. One list I was looking at was this list with Fanatical Firebrand, more Arsonists, uh, Mog Fanatic... Um, this Orcish Hellrider, which looked really cool. Crimson Fleet Commodore. I was looking at this list, and I was like, this list, this list, this list looks really cool. Um, so I might have to try out this list too, but this felt really strong. This was ultra aggressive. Um, I'm really kind of blown away by this deck. I really am. I'm completely surprised by how strong this deck felt. Um... Foundry Street was good. Goblin Arsonist was good when it came in. Bushwhacker was absurd in this format. Cohort and Conscripts are the weakest creatures. Be aggressive. Be, be aggressive. Yeah, no kidding. Cohort and Conscripts feel like the weaker creatures in a weird way because sometimes they don't trigger. But they were good sideboard targets. They didn't screw up your plan very well. And they could be really aggressive too. Fire Blast was super good. Who would have thought Goblin Grenade would be amazing? Sledder and Raider was awesome. These cards were great. Uh, Burning Tree lets you go wide sometimes. This Hissing of Guanar did some work. Yeah, this deck is sweet. Uh, I might have to run this through a league. I am curious, like I said, about this other red build. I'd be willing to give this one a shot too. Um, but yeah, this was this was super good. Um, really really kind of blown away with it um definitely going to be playing this thursday it's just whether or not if i take it through a league is up in the air but uh, definitely going to be playing this thursday um but yeah if you want to see this this will be uploaded next tuesday on my youtube channel in case you missed any of it you want to check out more but uh yeah this goblin deck was killer uh thank you cooper for we're going to set up a raid here but uh, thank you, Cooper, for the raid. It really helps out my channel a bunch, obviously. It's helped out amazingly. Thank you for the new followers. Uh, it helped me hit the 100 goal. I really, 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 really appreciate it. Um, tomorrow, I'll be back with Modern playing some of this Scorpion God deck. Scorpion God Brew. Uh, and then Thursday, we'll go back to more Gerblins. And then Friday, I don't know what I'm going to play yet. And then this weekend, I'm going to play some Mario Golf. So... But uh, I'm going to set up a raid. Uh, it's a modern. I can't find anyone else playing Popper, unfortunately. Um, but he's got one view. It's Opa Bakis. If I'm pronouncing that wrong, I apologize. They're playing Is It Phoenix? Um, so we're going to send you that way. Let me make sure there's not a Popper player first. Does not look like it. Unless Cooper, unless you got a suggestion on a raid here, I'll take your suggestion.
and do your thing. Alrighty, well, I'm going to send you over to uh, Opabakis. If I'm pronouncing that wrong, I apologize. But uh, that's where I'm going to send you over to. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for the new followers and the raid. Have a good rest of your day. And uh, I'm going to send you to some more magic content. So, thanks everybody. I will see y'all later. Take it easy. Peace.